Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Find all real values of x given that x squared plus x over x plus 1 quantity squared equals 15. And also, if you want to give this problem a try, then you can pause this video. Now, let's answer this question together. Let's focus on this equation x squared plus x over x plus 1 quantity squared equals 15. And our goal is to solve for all real value of x. Now, how are we going to start the solution for this equation? One thing to simplify this equation is to multiply all terms by x plus 1 quantity squared. So, to cancel out the denominator. But in that process, we have x raised to the fourth power and it is equivalent to 15 times x plus 1 quantity squared. Yikes. So, maybe there is a better way to answer this question. Now, take note that if we have a over b raised to n, it is equivalent to a raised to n over b raised to n. Therefore, this expression x over x plus 1 quantity squared can be written as x squared over x plus 1 quantity squared. And now, notice that we have a common term of x squared. So, we can factor out x squared. And now, let's combine the terms inside the parentheses because take note that this one can be written as x plus 1 quantity squared over x plus 1 quantity squared. And now, since they have the same denominator, we can now combine them. And then, x plus 1 quantity squared is equivalent to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, 1 plus 1 is just 2. And now, what would be the next step? Hmm. Now, on this 2x and 2, let's factor out 2. So, we have x plus 1. Why is that? Because on the denominator, we have also x plus 1. Now, using the property of similar fraction, the expression inside the parentheses can be written as x squared over x plus 1 quantity squared plus 2 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 quantity squared. And now, we have x plus 1 on the numerator and we have also a factor of x plus 1 on the denominator. So, we can cancel both of them. So, we have now 2 over x plus 1. And now, I see something. Now, what will happen if we multiply this x squared to the terms inside the parentheses? This will give us x squared quantity squared over x plus 1 quantity squared plus 2 times x squared over x plus 1. And now, using this identity again, but in reverse, if we have a raised to n over b raised to n, it is equivalent to a over b raised to the power of n. Therefore, this term x squared quantity squared over x plus 1 quantity squared can be written as x squared over x plus 1 quantity squared. Now, take note that this 2 is a constant, so we can put this constant in the front. So, this will give us 2 times x squared over x plus 1. Now, we see two terms that is equal, so we can replace this expression with a single variable and let's call this as p. Now, our equation a while ago trimmed down to p squared plus 2p equals 15. And now we have a quadratic equation in terms of p. Now let's equate this to 0 and let's factor this quadratic equation. And if you factor this, we get p plus 5 multiplied by p minus 3. And if we multiply these two factors, we get, of course, p squared plus 2p minus 15. Now, let's go back to the factored form. Now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. Now, let's solve for the value of p in these two equations. On the first one, we get that the value of p must be negative 5. And on the other one, we get that p equals 3. Now, since p is equal to x squared over x plus 1, so we can now replace all p with x squared over x plus 1, like this. Now, let's solve for the value of x. Again, take note that we want real value for x. Now, let's multiply all terms by x plus 1. 
on the first equation, let's distribute this negative 5. And on the second equation, let's distribute this 3. Now, let's equate both equations to 0. Now, we have x squared plus 5x plus 5 equals to 0 and x squared minus 3x minus 3 equals to 0. Now, in this quadratic equation, we will use the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, let's use the quadratic formula to the first equation, x squared plus 5x plus 5 equals to 0. Wherein, this b is 5, so we can replace all b with 5. And this a must be 1. And this c must be equal to 5. Now, let's simplify the number inside the square root. We have 5 squared, which is 25, minus 5 times 1 times 5, or simply 20. 25 minus 20 is just 5. And 2 times 1 is just 2. Therefore, we have now two real values for x, which is equivalent to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, the solution to the second equation is left as your exercise. And of course, if you use quadratic formula to answer this quadratic equation, you get x must be equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 21 all over 2. And this is the next two possible real values for x. Therefore, we have four real values for x, namely negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 and 3 plus or minus square root of 21 over 2. And as always, we are done.